Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Linguistic Show. Of course, I'm Carol. This is Jason. And so if you caught episode 16.5, mm. you you saw that was oh not saw because it was Well, you could have saw if you had I don't <laughs> know video. I don't know, closed caption or on Instagram. Like, I don't page. know. Like it, it maybe maybe you had to put captions on because you couldn't listen to it at the time and you had to read it. I don't know. Maybe okay. they saw it, babe. Don't don't doubt yourself. Okay, so if if you happen to to see our beach video on our podcast page or hear episode sixteen point five of the um actual um show, you'll you'll see that we have um some topics that are a little bit more um sensitive and not as as funny or as ha ha. And so this is one of them. So we hope that maybe you or someone else you know may actually get um, something out of, of this episode. Um, so this episode is about um, stuttering and not letting something that can um, can be seen as a negative like actually weigh you down and make you feel like you cannot achieve anything or, or achieve what you want to achieve. Even though this episode is a little bit more serious, we're still going to end it with our funny shenanigans mm -hmm. called, what's it called? Wordplay. Wordplay. All right, so today's a very special day. Um, on the screen is my sister, Carol. And I came back to the Instagram streets for my sister. I had deleted Instagram on a, on a break, MIA, but this is very important. So today is a special day. Today is International Stuttering Awareness Day. Now, people that know me growing up, I think only one of my friends knew knows that you have a stutter. But oh, um, what? I'm surprised. So okay. yeah, because we're five years apart, so it's not like you know we hung we hung with the same people. Yeah. yeah so only one of my friends truly knows you know about your how, you know your speaking. But it's very important. You were actually supposed to go live today with somebody else who mm -hmm. also has uh stut who also stutters, but they were unavailable. Yes, they had a change of heart. So I told her, okay, I understand. Yeah, but I wanted to make sure that my sister's voice was heard. So here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking to my sister, Carol, um, um, ask her a couple of questions. Carol, she's my biological sister, same mom, same dad. We grew up together. We're five years apart, but she is, five my, years. Yeah, she is my oldest sister. Um, if I sound a little nasally, I'm getting over a cold. Um, but without further ado, definitely as we're talking, like put, put some questions in the comments, add a couple people who you may know, but the purpose of this live is because today is International Stuttering Awareness Day, and I want to make sure that my sister's voice is heard. So <laughs> with that being said, who's that? Um, so again, this is my sister, Carol, um, and the purpose of today is just really just to, to raise some awareness to to stuttering. So I want to ask you, even though I'm your sister, I only know you as Carol, you know, and you were already talking when I, when I, so, but when, when did you or mom and dad, aka your parents, first notice that you had a stutter? I actually remember very vividly because it was second grade at Eva Turner Elementary School in Waldorf. And so I was I was pulled out of class and I was thinking, what's going on? Why are these why are these two adults who I don't recognize or know, like whispering, but then looking towards me, kind of pointing? And so I clearly knew that it was for me, but I had no idea what what it was for or who these people were. So that they had explained to me um separately um in a in a um different closed off room that that they are a um a speech therapist and my I guess parents or mom or whoever contacted the county to try to get me assistance so that I can get I guess well help. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't realize that was that was the second grade. So second grade, you were what seven? 
if I was either seven or, or I was eight, like based on the time of, of year, but I was, I, so maybe I was eight, I'm not sure, seven or eight. Okay, but still, still pretty young. Wow. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, um, you were, so they found out, sorry, they found <laughs> out, um, this was back in second grade, very young, yeah. but obviously like you're growing up in childhood, outside mm -hmm. of school, inside of school, just how was your childhood in general? Um, with you knowing that you have, right. did they That's call funny. it a speech impediment? Like, what is the actual like yeah. terminology? Yeah, so the actual term is um, a speech impediment, but you can call it stuttering. People call it stammering, but I think like maybe like based on like where someone lives in the country, they may call it stammering. But I have never called it that. I, I mean, I mean it. It helps describe it, but that's not what I call it. So I call it either um, stuttering or um, speech impediment. But I use them um, the same. Gotcha. I want to make sure I'm using the right word so I don't offend anyone. Because <laughs> the way people are these days, they be like, they hit you in the DM. Ah, it's not called yeah. that. You called it the wrong thing. They be like, it's called this. Canceled. <laughs> right. Um, all right. So, but overall, how was your childhood? Was there anything significant that stood out to you? You you learn about this in, yeah. in second grade, you were pulled out of the classroom. Right. Was there anything significant that you remember? Yeah. So, yeah. And so a, a few different things stand out um, in a positive way before I get to some other things that were maybe a bit more negative that happened um, in middle school and in, in, in high school. So I remember, and I don't know whether I was second grade or younger, but um I had to do um, some different kinds of public speaking of, of activities at church. And so I would would fumble over words, but but I'm not sure on, on to this day still like whether it was because of the words that I was saying, because they were, for me at the time, really, really big words for a little a little kid who's like seven or eight, or whether or whether it was a sign of the stuttering. So there was a, um, a, a fashion show that we had uh, for church. It was at, at some venue. I'm not sure what it was, but I remember very well um, your piano teacher, who I will not say her name, but your um, piano instructor asked me to to um, say certain things as like an intro. And so I was okay with some of the words, but it was um, um, Episcopal that had me like really really stumped and so like that was the first time that, 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 that um, i can recall myself like actually being stuck on a word and so i'm not sure whether it was because of stuttering that that um, i didn't know what stuttering was at the time or whether or whether you know, it was the actual word episcopal which for someone who's like seven eight years old that's a huge word for someone little so that's the first time that, 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 that i actually can recall vividly like me having trouble saying a word and so like that's something that, that didn't bother me but then with um a, a, a mom and dad they did they did have me do things like with the um with the youth sundays whether it was doing the prayer or that kind of thing so I wasn't bothered by it, but I was at times frustrated. So uh, um, I'm actually jumping from seven or eight years old to maybe high school. And so I'll, I'll, I'll jump backwards as well. But um, but when they would, well, I'm saying they, but it was really mom, obviously. But when mom would have me uh, on, sign up for things, like for the whole church, I never was nervous about speaking what I had to say but but um but um it was the fear of what if I do stutter in front of all these people at church who have known me since I was a baby and like will they think will they think of me differently or um even think of my parents differently because I never wanted to do anything that would make them feel embarrassed either and so I did have um nervousness and um apprehension about speaking at church, but it was never because of what I had to say. It, it was the fear of what if I mess up and then make either them look bad or make me look bad. 
So that's something that that to me is not really negative, but then no, but still positive. But then um there was actually um an um incident I recall very very well in um in middle school, and I'm not sure how much grade it was, but it was in middle school. I was with my um my speech therapist, who was actually the same one who I had from um grades two through five. So. She, I guess, followed me to a uh, middle school. So we were having our session. Um, we didn't have it um, in a, um, um, like an actual closed off classroom, but we had it um, in an um, in a empty space. I didn't really have, um, um, have anyone around it. So she, she told me, Ms. Davis, I don't know whether you retired Ms. Davis or not, but Ms. Ms. Davis uh, basically told me that I would not have a really strong future uh, as an adult because I stutter. And so that to me was really hurtful because this woman who I've known since second grade, who I thought I could trust to, I guess, help, you know, help me improve was like really like casting doubt and, and giving and like telling me, you know, like, Carol, you're not going to make it. I mean, it wasn't her words, but that was, her, that was no, her meaning. They knew that like, I'm here they you know, to help you, but I'm, but I don't, but I don't know I have any faith in you. I don't believe in you, you know that you can actually get better. And so that was not her words, but that's what I got from her saying, you're not going to have a future because you stutter. And so, so then, um, fast forward to high school. She, um, I actually met her son. We, um, had classes together in ninth, 10th, I guess, in, um, 11th and 12th grade. So I remember in, in 10th grade, we had a class together, her son, who I did not know because I because I um, I'd only met him in high school, and so he was telling me things about my speech therapy sessions with his mom that um, that only one person would know, and that is Miss Davis. And so then I um asked him, "How do you know these things?" Because I just met you in high school, and like, and I don't have speech therapy in high school. That on um, that stock in, in middle school. So I asked, him, um, "No, how do you know?" Um, I know these things about me. So, but he, so he, um, but then he told me um, who his mom is, and I was like, and I was, I don't recall um, how um, I reacted, but you no, know, but but that actually showed me for the first time that I can't trust some adults as a kid because I was really uh, feeling like I was not betrayed by this woman who I thought was there to help me. But then again, in middle school, told me that. I don't believe in you, basically, and then also told told, told her son things about me because he was um, telling me things um, in a um, negative way, not like in a night. I mean, I was I would call it bullying because it wasn't bullying at all. It was more about like it was more so uh, like I never uh, that, that that like you have these things going on, you're not going to be able to do certain things, and so then I got to the root of what of, you know how that started. But I do want to just go back to the um, different kinds of. Uh, of connections, but you have uh, when it comes to um, an adult and a um, and a kid. In this case, a student. Um, so, I, so I remember very, very well. I think it had to be it had to be seventh grade in uh, in middle school as well. The um, the um, school secretary made an announcement to the whole school. Not um, there was no like little note. This was a um. Um, it or common after for the whole middle school that it was time for my speech therapy session because in middle school, no one actually knew that um, that um, I was getting, I guess, therapy or treatment because it was, I mean, it, it wasn't a secret, but it was not like advertised with my teachers or with me. So like my my teachers knew that, that um, um I would leave class on a certain day and then I would go you know, with the speech therapist, but I may never told anyone. So this, this one secretary made again, a whole announcement to the whole school that it was time for my speech therapy um, session. And so I felt mortified. I, I don't know why I cried or not, I probably didn't cry, but I felt really, really embarrassed that the whole school then knew that I do stutter a bit, bit, bit because at the time I thought that I was probably the um the, um only kid in the whole school and that could have been true I'm not sure, but I just want you know, just to um let the adults um know you know like if you're a teacher educator that kind of thing don't don't make a child you know, feel more embarrassed than they already are. Okay, so that is the yeah. wrong childhood. <laughs> <laughs> 
no no that's good that's good um do me a favor scroll scroll up on the comments and the one that i put if you hold it and then hit the word pin then that'll stay at the bottom that way if people join they'll know kind of what we're talking about no i gotta figure out how to do that okay so you scroll the up at your the bottom? yeah what i do don't do see the yeah the, um, stop that Okay, so I do see where where, where where people have joined, but then okay, how do so I get to the comments? It's it, it's okay. mixed in there. So okay. Scroll your finger till you find mine. Okay, because I did see yours earlier. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Well, while you're figuring it out, um, mm -hmm. literally, like if you just take your finger and just scroll down, you don't go fast. Just okay, little by little, and then slow. you'll see mine. And then hold it and hit the word pin comment. This is so embarrassing that I can't even figure out how to pin a comment, Bell Bell. All right, never mind. <laughs> I can't figure this out. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. So um that was, I mean, you had good and and bad moments. The fact that <laughs> now this was back in let's see, it's 2022. Now we're yes, this was show your age. This could be like early nineties. Yeah, so um, so yeah. It, so middle school, it was the early '90s. So that had to be between maybe '92 and '95 or something like that for the middle school part. Yeah, so I'm gonna try one have, more time. Did you have anything? Because I feel like I, now I figured it out. Okay. Now, <laughs> I figured it out. Thank you. Now you're really showing your age. I but know. If you. Um, I really think that there there has been a huge shift, which is good. Like when people do have um, services that they need, like somebody needing speech therapy in school right now, that would equate to you having an IEP. Okay. But then like people announcing all this stuff, like that's that that falls into like HIPAA and like all that stuff. Yes. So it does. nowadays, nowadays it's probably controlled a little bit more. But mm -hmm. back then, and I'm saying back then, like it was the 70s, but back yeah, but then, like 90s, 25 some years ago. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Ago. And the one thing that also stands out is your support, your resource, your speech mm -hmm. therapist who you were working with one on one was the same person who's trained for this stuff, but was also basically saying like, okay, I work with these kids, but they're not gonna have no future. Right, exactly. Like, why are you in that profession? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. And I'm yeah. sure there's people like that, that that exists today, but with mm -hmm. the way technology is, not even technology, the way you can like broadcast stuff, it is nothing but a, oh, let me, let me go to C uh, CCPS or whatever school district right. you are and, and put something on Twitter or email mm -hmm. this person or like, yeah, that would not fly these days. Yeah, so I'm that's unfortunate that. that you that you you went through that and it still stands out to you even years later. Mm -hmm. So I know people personally who are in those fields, obviously like raising Julius, Janelle. Yeah they have therapists but i would be devastated if they talked about them as well and then mm -hmm. later and then julius later heard about it so yeah. that's yeah. terrible but yeah. so as you with all that going on like you going mm -hmm. through all those different things and just to recap guys this is my sister here um at the bottom <laughs> today is international stuttering awareness day my sister she grew up with a stutter uh, or speech impediment. Mm. She still has it, but hearing her, a lot of people wouldn't even know. I remember sometimes, like when we were younger, mm. um, you would like get in trouble, and then like, like I'm dad. Yeah, but yeah. I would hear it. I would hear it then, but I didn't know. Oh, okay. I didn't know either. That's what I'm trying oh, to say. Okay. Yeah. Um. So with you having the confidence that you have now, because a lot of people who would have a speech impediment right. wouldn't even be doing a live like this. <laughs> so <laughs> what have you done? People who don't even have speech impediments are like, I don't want to do no live. I don't want to do no public speaking. But <laughs> you are doing that on top of having a mm. physical speech, like 
disorder, disorder, yeah, disorder yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's twofold, but you still have the confidence to do it. So what what changed in you or how did you how did you build that confidence to just yeah. speak? Yeah, to, 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 to actually want to talk. And so mm -hmm. I, I, I'm honestly not sure what moment, I guess, I guess clicked, but it was definitely had to be, it was, it was before high school because, because I remember in high school, I was the, um, the um, president of a um, student club and I had to, go, to um, give a, a speech at one of our awards, awards kind of session. So I was not nervous at all. I mean, I got up there with my little cute outfit on because like, this is like '97, so so uh, so I'm dressed like I am from from, from the movie. I'm, I'm clueless because I saw. So, so like imagine like the Shay or Dion, but I was wearing a navy a, a navy blue like little cute outfit. So like imagine clueless because that was the style back then. So I got up on the stage with my little cute shoes on, my little outfit on. I gave my speech, and 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 that had to be maybe about. 20 some years ago so i so I, I honestly don't recall whether i stuttered um, um, during that actual moment or not but i but i do recall vividly to this day that i was not nervous i was not afraid you no know, to go and speak to these parents and, and these students who were there for this um this um session because i was the um student club president so i had to get up there welcome them talk about you know the the um, close mission while we're here and I just took charge because that's what a, a leader has to do and so I don't recall whether um no the prior prior to I think that was 11th grade so I don't recall no prior to that like whether I was you no know, afraid to to do speaking the because again, at church with a mom having me, and maybe and maybe you too, I don't know, but definitely me having to go and do church announcements or say the prayer or the welcome. So, so, so that that I think was her way of getting me used to speaking without having to think about stuttering so much. Um, so the the confidence I think has been there for several decades, but it's but no, but it's grown, and so. I I don't usually have an issue with speaking in terms of like what to say, a topic, knowledge. It's, it's at times a matter of will I stutter? Will I make the um, people who I am you know, there for you know, um, look bad? So that's what I'm worried about more so than me looking bad. So I think that's in the part of my whole traits of oh I'm a um a um. People, a um, people pleaser. That's that's been my nature. I guess my whole life, probably. So, like that, I guess helps me to get through the whole. I got to speak about so and so topic, so and so issue, and I, and I just get through it. And even still to this day, I mean, I have a podcast, which I would have never thought I'd be doing a podcast with Jason because I have to speak a lot. Yeah, that's beautiful. So you you like you said, you've always had the confidence. Yeah. Um, it just was that extra layer. You know, will I? <laughs> Like, um, will I, will I embarrass stutter? people? Yeah, so mm -hmm. it was more okay. So, like in in um, high school, it was it was it was not me feeling you know embarrassed for myself. I, I never wanted to make mom and dad feel like they were embarrassed by their daughter who stuttered or or, or ashamed that kind of thing. Because with some um other folks uh, uh, um, um, in our family, they actually made me feel terrible. It's like one of them you already know. In who our family? Yes. And and they were they were two people actually. So like one of them you already know who that is, without a doubt. <laughs> you know who that is. But the um other one I actually know. Okay, well you'll have to tell me after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. So <laughs> they they would have me practice talking and reading like you know, like I uh, like I was a little toddler, but that was their way of trying to help me to, I guess, just stop automatically. And I would tell them that that, you know, that I'm not trying to stutter. I try to find ways to you know to help control it. But they thought that um, I, I mean, if I just like I'm just like practice talking more, that I would just grow out of it or just like be able to just just like to like I guess like quit. And so they clearly were wrong, but they were trying it you know, in their own way to help me. It didn't, it didn't help me. It felt really bad, but they, but they were trying, I guess. So. 
Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of people who are supporters, whether they're family or not, and this is not me, you know, taking their side, but mm -hmm. I have a, a different outlook on it because I feel like people will try to help, but they mm -hmm. don't know enough about like the true ways to scientifically or therapeutically, you know, yeah. help a situation. So all they know is just keep talking and you'll stop or you exactly. know, or like yeah. to I'm like practice reading things I'm a spot. And so I remember very, very well and I and I don't know whether you were with us. Um, we were um in Connecticut and it was for someone's some older cousin who's now passed on but it was their birthday celebration I don't, and i don't know who it was i have no clue who it was for but i remember that this um this one this one one person in the family told me to read the um the um birthday sign that was hanging um basically um it was a a banner that was on the wall whatever it's like happy birthday whoever it was for i forgot who it was for it so um they wanted me to read it and so I was thinking that they were kidding. So, so I, I remember that I just like sat there and didn't talk. I just was looking, thinking like, are they serious? And so they they, they said that again, no, read the sign. But but they said it with, um, with more force that time. So I think, okay, I think they're getting mad at me because I stutter. And so let me read the sign. So I stutter terribly reading just happy birthday so-and-so's name. Because I was just, oh, <laughs> Oh, Carol. Okay. <laughs> I honestly took this day. I, I had no idea how much that that bothered me until just not talking about it. Because I never talked about it. Like, ever. I mean, not. I'll think about it occasionally, like to myself, but I never ever told anyone ever like how much that person who I who I know met well, like really had me just feel awful inside and feel like my own family hated me. Because I could not, I guess you know, just like quit stuttering. Like it's a button. So anyhow. That was not planned. I did not think I'd be crying. That was not in the cards, but I did. Whew. That's okay. You got to get it out. Yeah. Oh, so, maybe cry. Yeah. So I would tell you later you know who they were. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know because, you know, I'm I'm a go straight to the horse's mouth. You know what you did back in back in whatever day and we was at what you call it? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, because I had to be. And I was thinking maybe so maybe I was tell me. In, in middle school or young. Because so, so like this, this whole like birthday sign, it, it definitely was not high school. It was younger than that. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, tissue with me. Okay. <laughs> go get it. Go get a tissue. That's okay. I, I, I can buy, buy some paper on the desk. To oh my gosh. All right. So, um, no, it's actually good that we're having this conversation. And I do feel like maybe people who, um, maybe one reason why people aren't so open to just, you know, talk because mm -hmm. they have stories like what you're, what you're talking about. People that don't understand, um, you know, stuttering just in itself, and they're trying to force you to do something, but in right. return, it's, it's basically trauma yeah. that yeah. you live with. And yeah, so I really hope people who watch the replay, who are watching now, they will Ooh. understand like the magnitude of, if you're trying to help, you could, you could also be doing like some damage. So mm -hmm. check with that person. What I just what am I what I'm trying to make you do is it making you uncomfortable? Like okay. help me understand why aren't you answering the question or why aren't you doing X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z or whatever you know you're yeah. trying to do? Do that because that's that's awful. Yeah. And if I know they were family, you. yeah, don't yeah. tell me who it is. Okay. I won't tell you that. I won't tell you. Um, wow. Some of the questions I was going to ask, you kind of answered them already because I was going to ask okay. if you have resources. You did. You have a speech therapist mm -hmm. who was terrible. <laughs> and Ms. talked about Davis. you and basically said you would have no future. <laughs> Obviously, you, you do have one. But speaking of the future component, so if you think back to when you're getting ready to start working, you got to mm -hmm. go through interviews. Like, has there ever been a situation or, or like a life decision mm -hmm. that was impacted because of your stutter like if you yeah. had an interview and it didn't go right. well or um 
I don't know, with the kids, you know, you're disciplining them. Like, has there ever been a situation where it was like a major life decision mm -hmm. um, and the, your stuttering impacted it? Whether it's yeah. good or bad, but you know, has like it been something like that? Yeah, and so that um, that has happened um, in job interviews a few times. So um, I was I'm, I'm telling Jason a few weeks ago actually that like when Wait, I have uh, is this going? I don't want to bring up any like wow. bad bad past part and make you cry again. It was fine. It was fine. It was just recent. It was just recent. Okay, yeah. So um, I was telling him. Uh, it was earlier this month, maybe last month, dude, that like when I have job interviews, normally. Um, uh, I don't stutter. I mean, I am like smooth sailing, and so the um the I think it's only happened three times or maybe twice that I, that I, um, I, I, I've had a job interview you know, that I stutter terribly. But in um in those jobs, I actually didn't want the jobs, and so okay, so okay, so like there were. Um, there was um, there was one incident. I think this was last year, maybe two years ago. That, that I was amped up in the interview. I was ha had some water. I was relaxed. I had my little space set. But then when the um person who was on the interview told me more uh, um, um, about the job, I freaked out. I'm thinking, oh my god, I don't want to work here. Please don't hire me. And so 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 like that actually turned um some turned I guess into a, a part of my brain on it that I didn't care what happened because I don't want this job. I don't want to be hired. I, I had the interview great. It was wonderful, but I don't want to work here because this is not what I thought it was going to be. So I have noticed, no, that you know, that has happened definitely twice that, that, I, that I can recall for a job interview. And there was um there was one job that, that, that I had um, 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 I'm at it um, interview for, I think it was last year, that I really, really, really wanted the job, but I was so nervous because I really, really, really wanted that job, and so I stuttered awfully, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, Carol, they'll never hire you, which is true. I wasn't hired, but but those um, those were the, the um, two times that, that I could think of you know, that I did stutter more than just like a word here and there. It was like every other couple of words. I'm thinking, okay, They'll never hire me because I stutter. So it didn't work out, which is okay. I got you. Um, yeah, but but like as far as but like as far you know as like things up with the kids, I don't stutter a whole lot. Like what I'm doing, I guess, um, telling them uh, what needs to be done. So whether it's um, giving them praise, um, telling them no, you got to do your fix your room so my so i just start around them but not like every single time that i'm speaking and so i do you know at times wonder um now plus i when they get older like you no know, if they would think you no know, that their mom was not a good mom because she could not give out i guess you know, directions would uh, without stuttering so you no know, that does bother me but Hopefully my kids love me regardless of whether I stutter or not. I think they do. I hope so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I wouldn't think that they would do that. And even like, have you ever just had like a conversation like, hey, y'all, look, this is, you know, what's yeah. going on. You know what I mean? Like, Julius yeah. knows I have depression. Like, look, don't okay. bother me. I need my time alone. Okay. Just like, we you know, put it out about there. <laughs> <laughs> We've never had like a whole family meeting about Stuff. No, actually, what we have, but it was more about don't make fun of people because you never know what kind of hurt you may cause. So that wasn't for me actually. Um, it was for um, um, your um, oldest niece because she she um has a stutter as well, and so I did um, tell her you know, that I'm going live. She was really proud that, that I'm going to, that I'm going to be you know, sharing my I guess life experience as someone who stutters because. Mm -hmm. She does too. So the whole family talks have been more so about me getting angry when the when when the other kids in the family would try to mock her because I took a personal because I stuttered. So I would get really, really defensive and angry because that was not just hurting her, that you know, that uh, hurts me too. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good it's good to have the open dialogue. It's mm -hmm. good to have the open dialogue. Um, and we've been chatting for probably about 30 minutes now, which is really oh, wow. good. Okay.
<laughs> you, got, you got you release some stuff. Yeah. Um. Have I have I ever done anything to you? Oh. Okay. Well, no. No. All right. Um. Listen, I'm saying like I'm the little sister, so I don't know. Um. Yeah. You have it in a in a in the same for her brother as well. I'm declaring a statement. Uh, 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 things to me directly that are offensive or bothersome. He's never ever done it to me as well. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know my battery was dying. I can't hear you. So, okay. can you hear me? Can you yeah, hear me? I can hear you now. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, what uh -oh. did you... Hold on, real quick, hold on. Because I'm still trying to, like, like it's not. It's early. I, I, I thought so you were going to get a tissue. I thought you were going to win. Hold on. Be right back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks, y'all, that are still here. If you have questions, let us know. Um, My sister is doing something very, 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 very powerful, which I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. Thank you all so much for joining, everyone. But let me know if you have questions um, for Carol. And when she comes back, we're actually going to wrap it up. So, okay. she's back. back. She's back. So I wanted to ask you, so with you growing up, learning about your speech impediment, um, mm -hmm. stuttering, at a very early age, now you're an adult, got your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, you lead up all these meetings, you got your own podcast, don't get to tell, at the end, you tell everybody your podcast. What would you tell someone who is watching this, who has a stutter, um, or either a parent, or someone who knows someone who's who has a stutter. So either someone who has a stutter or you know someone with it, what would you tell, I guess it's two things. What would you tell the person who has a stutter that's afraid to speak up, mm -hmm. that's afraid yeah. to talk? What's one thing that you would, would tell them? And then what's one thing that you would tell someone who is a supporter mm -hmm. of a parent or is a parent that has right. a child? Yeah. Okay. Um, so for, uh, let me actually start with, uh, but I would tell um a um a supporter of someone who stutters, but again, like parent, coworker, or whatever, cousin, whatever it is, or um even like someone who for someone who who, um, who knows them but is not you know, like really close to that person. I would say um if it's if it's someone who's a child you know, who stutters, just know, you know that that like you trying to force them to just quit like get some kind of disease or not a disease, but like quit I'm against like I guess smoking or quit like it's drinking alcohol or whatever. It's like there there um you know, there is no one magical thing that can make a kid or an adult stop stuttering. And so that's that's the biggest thing is that it's not something that we are choosing to do because some people as a um as a kid, but you thought I was just like joking around, but I wasn't joking with how I speak. Is how I speak. Is how I sound. Is who I am. So I, um, I don't let um me stuttering um no um define me, but I know that it is a trait that I have, and I just cannot just turn it off. So like whether I sound confident or not, I still may have certain words or certain sounds or 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 or, 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 or a syllable that gives me i guess anxiety or stress or that kind of thing so like when you do have a child or, or friend or whatever who stutters give them give them the time and the space to actually try to get their thought out rather than trying to say it for them or correct them or be like hurry up or like like do things to then make them feel even more nervous because like when you when you do that that actually makes the person, or, or, or helps the person, but for me at least, that makes me feel even rushed and pressured to then get it out. So that, that so then I stutter more. So definitely be patient with the person. But I will say also for those 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 who stutter and don't stutter, stuttering does not make you stupid because I have actually had adults in my late thirties, so a few years ago, who blatantly told me you know, that they thought I was not smart because I stutter. 
And so I'm 39 years old at the time. And I have not told this person, no, that I don't know what is wrong with you, but how can you equate my intelligence when you don't even know me that well to me being stupid because I stutter? And so people who also knew, knew um, this, this guy also thought that he, um, he would treat me differently because I stutter um, and therefore I was stupid or just didn't know I guess how to be an adult because I stutter, and so that's one thing that 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 I must get out. Stuttering does not make you stupid. You it can be incredibly intelligent and happen to have a speech disorder, and it's okay. So then, going back to the actual person who stutters, so, so um, if it's a kid, I would just tell them to always stay positive, which sounds. Sounds easier said than done. So, um, um, an example is my oldest daughter. So, like, she knew that, that I was going live with you to talk about stuttering um, as a kid through uh, through adulthood. So, like, she was really really happy that um, that um, I was going live and just sharing my experience. But, but she also shared uh, with me you know, that that um, her being someone in high school, she she doesn't let it stop her from speaking or being active or engaged but she but she um is aware that some people will judge her because of her stuttering and, and she also knows that people who are her worst ignorant will think that she's not smart because she stutters and so she's she's very very self-aware and knows that people will judge her she is way more aware at her age of judgment than I was at her age. So I'm really proud of her as well for not letting that get her down too. So hopefully I answered the question, but, 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 but you know me, I, I talk in circles. I, I talk like missed the question. So did I answer the question? I hope, I, I hope so. Yes, you did. You take, okay. the, you take the scenic route. Yes, I do. No, I'm just no what you said was very important. <laughs> stuttering does not make you stupid. Like that is so important. And you are an inspiration to me, to a lot of people, because you have so many things that are going against you. Forget about the starting for a second. You're a female. You mm -hmm. are a high level in the government. For yeah. That know government, GS, whatever yeah. number it is. Yeah. Some, some number in the team. High up. But, um, high, high up. <laughs> she's high up. But anyway. Um, you have a master's degree, you're African American, you're a female, um, and then add on, you have a, a speech impediment. You, mm -hmm. you, sorry, you have, you yeah. have a lot of, a lot of things that like uh, go against you, but you still have so much confidence. And that is amazing. And to see that reflected in your, my oldest niece, I won't say her <laughs> name, I won't put her business out there. Bye. But my oldest niece, like, it is just amazing. So people who who don't even have, you know, a speech a speech impediment or anything, mm -hmm. even if you didn't, just seeing how, how much um, confidence you have and how you're not afraid to right. like, just, you know, let your voice be heard. And that's no pun intended, but, like, literally yeah. like, let your voice be heard. It's so important. And I don't even know if people know that today exists, International Stuttering Awareness Day. Right. Like, yeah, it like is definitely big. want people to know. Yeah. yeah. This is a real thing. It's, it's, so, um, actually, that, um, that, uh, that gave me a thought that that is something that has been, has been with me for a couple of years that I had to learn to not be insecure about, which was, which was like, how my voice sounds. And so, people, whether it was, you know, Family members, co-workers, friends, teammates from my various sports teams, PTA people, or whoever it doesn't matter. But you no, know, but um, but um, uh, uh, people would um would would tell me that 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 they always know it's me by my voice. So like whether I was you know like behind them or I don't know somewhere that that, that uh, they couldn't see me, they would know it's me by my voice. And so for years, I was offended by that because I was thinking, you're making fun of me because I stutter. Like, I don't like you anymore. But I then asked someone, what do you mean? Was it because I stutter? So then someone said, no, you stutter? Like, I didn't know. But, but, um, but, um, but, but, but it was because I sound confident and my voice projects strength. 
And so when I actually ask the person, you know, you know why do you why do you say that? Because I, I hear it often. I'm thinking, come on now, don't make fun of me as an adult. Just stop it. So, so you know, that that I think really helped me to um so subconsciously be more confident with not just speaking to to, to our family and friends, but 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 to um speak up. So whether it's me giving a speech to hundreds of people, my uh, my biggest audience at work was about a thousand people and so i was not nervous at all yes yes about a thousand Wait, people like you 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 were speaking to a thousand people Maybe like 900 ish okay, something like just round it up yes. i'm just saying like that's a lot yes. of people yes and, and so like this was not a video it was more like you are doing the introduction you are giving a actual um you are a panelist and talking about Federal contracts, but still, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, like with with my voice, that is something that, that I am now proud of. Years later, because I someone stutters, I would not be afraid to talk about topics. But I clearly thought that sounded horrible because my voice I thought was going to be mundane and just like monotone. But no, but the. When I asked that person finally, like, why did why do folks keep on saying, "Oh, I know it's you," because I was offended, and so someone actually at, at, at work who I had met um, on Teams virtually last year, but um, but um, I never seen her in person until um, I think it was in the in the office in August, and so I um say, "No, I'm, I'm Poggy Boy and so and so." So I recognized her um her by her photo. From her um 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 the um icon of team, so I said, "That's a little stalkerish." <laughs> I, I was at work, Melody. <laughs> so, so, so I'm just like mom that, that that I will say hello to those who I recognize or know. I'm like mom many many ways, and so I said, "No, hi, good morning, so and so." And then she was looking at me like she like stopped and paused, staring at me. So she said, "Like kind of frowned at her face, Carol." I said, yes. Hi, so-and-so. Good morning. So, so I was walking away. So then she was like, it's your voice. I knew when she was so good to meet you. And so and so I asked her, because this is, this is a kind of a stranger, so I asked her, is that a good thing or a bad thing? She was like, no, it's a good thing. I was like, okay, thanks. Okay, have a good day, so-and-so. <laughs> so, okay. That's proof. That's proof. Get out your head. Get yes. out your head. Because a lot yeah. of times you'll do yourself damage if you're in your head. Yeah, so no, it, you know, it, it, that kind of comment about the voice has happened a few different times the the last uh, several years. You now, it's oh, I know it's you because your voice. I'm like, yeah, it's me. Hey, it's Carol. <laughs> That's good. So, tell everybody about your podcast because you started a podcast, which oh, is yes. amazing. Yes, you're right. Thank you, thank you, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Mel. So, my husband and I started a podcast. We started it last year, but I was scared about doing the behind the scenes. So I can talk for a long time. So talking was, was not the issue. It was more like how to produce, how to edit. So we, we um launched a podcast this year, and and um it is called the Linguistic Show. So it's not about the, the study of language. We actually met in college in that class, and so we. Do this together. We um we we try to have a new a new show each Wednesday, but at times we're off track, and so we're gonna work on that. But you can um check us out on Instagram at Linguistic Show. We also have a website, which was actually done by Melvin Tech. Thank you, Melvin Tech. <laughs> which is <laughs> Melvin Tech. Thanks for the shout yeah, out. Which is um linguisticsshow.com. And you can also check us out on Spotify and Anchor and Stitcher using our full name, The um, Linguistic Show. And we have about 20 episodes so far. We're going to be doing more. And so that's something that I never would have imagined myself doing, which is having a podcast. And it wasn't because of being scared of speaking. It was because I just didn't think that I'd want to be a podcaster, but I love it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how you can Good. find us. Good. Good. So type it in. Type it in the comments, and then you can pin it again. 
Oh. Or just type type it in the comments. That way people okay. know. I didn't know how to spell linguistics. I was thinking oh, like licorice. Licorice. <laughs> what? Mm. But this is oh, really, my. really good. I I make sure you save this to your page, Carol. Um, yeah. So people can can watch it over and over again. And this, I I wanted to make sure my sister's voice was heard. Unfortunately, her original um, collaborator, who yes, also he got happens to have a stutter, um, mm -hmm. he was not available anymore for whatever reasons. But this was very important to um, to so you guys you know knew a little bit more about stuttering and actually meet somebody who has one and learn a little bit more about ways you can support it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Carol's information is there. Hey, it's Carol. That's her mm -hmm. personal page, but she also has her um, podcast page. So I yeah. appreciate this. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's my friend. DJ 74 thank you for, for joining in. And so, so, so I definitely want you know, just to help people understand that it's okay. Yeah. Everyone is different. So so whether you stutter, whether you, I don't know, have a limp or whatever, people are different and that makes us who we are and unique and, and unique. So don't, um, don't judge people because they stutter. We are not unintelligent. We're actually really, really awesome people who just happen to speak differently. So if it's, if it's your cousin, your sister, your brother, who maybe your kid, just love them and, and don't make them feel bad because they stutter. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining in. Hey, Haley yeah. Jay. Thanks for I won't say your government name, but I know who you are, girl. <laughs> That's right. She said, we are all unique in our own ways. I love it. Yes, Whereas definitely. Invisible, visible disabilities, invisible disabilities. I don't even know if you if you use that word or not, Carol. Um, you know, I've never actually yeah. have, um, I, I haven't used that term, no, but I, but I do have a few. <laughs> oh, that's my friend. DJ 74, thank you for, for joining in. And so, so, so I definitely want, you know, just to help people understand that it's okay. Yeah. Everyone is different. So, so whether you stutter, whether you, I don't know, have a limp or <laughs> People are different, and that makes us who we are and unique and and unique. So, don't um don't judge people because they stutter. We are not unintelligent. We're actually really really awesome people who just happen to speak differently. So, if it's if it's your cousin, your sister, your brother, who maybe your kid, just love them and and don't make them feel bad because they stutter. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining in. Hey, Haley yeah, Jay. Thanks for everybody. I won't say your government name, but I know who you are, girl. <laughs> That's right. She said we are all unique in our own ways. I love it. Yes, it's definitely. Visible, visible disabilities and visible disabilities. I don't even know if you if you use that word or not, Carol. Um, you know, you, I've never actually you know. have. Um, I, I haven't used that term, no. But I but I do have a few old co-workers and who who um, who would encourage me to use my stuttering as a disability to then try to get certain um, um different access to, for jobs i told them no i'm not but gonna no, not not in that way not <laughs> like abuse it i'm just saying like disability it's it's like i technically have a disability <sighs> because of anxiety right like, yes yeah. label it is what it is, you know. What I mean? yeah, you're right. So it's it's not. Oh, let me let me go and try to get this government this and this this check and this check. No, I don't mean it in that way. I'm just saying uh, there's visible disabilities and, yeah. and invisible disabilities. Gotcha. And stuttering will be one where like you you speak very very greatly, and people will never know just by looking at a picture of you. Right. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. 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 So well, well I definitely fun. appreciate you stepping in because again, my um my first friend who was going to join me had basically basically he had a change of heart. So he stutters, he's older than me. Um he's someone who I thought would really inspire people. And so he said a yes last month. I um, checked in with him again this week to make sure that that we're all set. 
he changed his mind, got offended, and, and then changed his mind again the same day and said, yes, I'll do it for you. And then today, he changed his mind again and said, no. So I'm thinking, okay, he really needs to not be in denial, you know, that he stutters, and, and, and just know that it's not a bad thing. He's someone who I thought really could inspire um, other men and women to to still reach um, reach your um, highest level of you know of your career. But he was wishy washy in denial, and that's a fact, unfortunately. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. So us doing this together was for a reason. People yes. wouldn't have been able. People from that know me from my page that found oh no, he's on live. Who's she on live with? Yeah, she they like, would have never known. They would have never known. So. <laughs> This is good, and um, <laughs> she said that, that's another day talking about the word disability. That oh. right there, um, okay. she knows the language. Yeah, um, we we have a lot in common. Her son's name is my son's name. So anyway, that's really cool. Son, yeah, he needs to go to sleep. It's a, it's an hour past his bedtime. Hi, little guy. <laughs> so I appreciate this, Carol. I'm glad you were able to release some things, and then we can talk more offline. Um, hmm. But yeah, feel free, guys. Make sure you're following Carol. Um, yeah. Get a little drop down. Go to her page. Learn more about Linguistic Show. And if you have questions for her that you yeah. didn't want to ask on here. If you um, can send, your ma send me a DM. Um, yeah. You can even send it to my Hey, it's Carol, which is on the, on, like, it's on the screen right now. Or you can send me um, an um, email. You can send it to the... Um, to me, the linguistic show at gmail.com. And I can also Carol. answer that way. Yeah. People don't email like that. Exactly. This is not a, this is not a team's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh my gosh, what time is it, Jason? I think it's time for wordplay. Okay. So who's going first today? You or me? Ladies first. Okay. Well, here you go. My letter will be. Oh, actually, let me just explain what we're doing because we have may have may have someone who's not really sure what's going on. So each episode, we we both take a letter and we have to use use that letter to have a word chosen for us out of a dictionary. We have to then use that word in a sentence and also define the word. So I'm going first. Apparently, my letter will be Y. Why? Why not? Going to the end of the dictionary to find some whys. Jeez. Even... Someone needs his little lamp on in the corner no. <laughs> so he can see better. Why did you say why? <laughs> because I wanted to be different. Okay, you're different. Ready? Yeah, I think. Bruh. Is it easy? Come on, what's the word? Y'all. Y'all? Y'all. Y-A-W. Y'all. Okay. Mm. Y'all is, I'm thinking, a tool mm. or an animal? Mm. Is that right? Is no. It, is, it, is it a tool? Neither. You ready? Yes. Yeah, so what is Y'all. For all y'all that got boats. <laughs> for all y'all. Not for all y'all. For all y'all. That got boats, you know what y'all means. Or planes, if you know how to fly. So, y'all, the action of yawing, a side to side movement, the extent of the movement in yawing, to yaw of a ship, to deviate erratically from a course as when struck by a heavy sea, to move from side to side. Got so, it. like when you're on a boat no, and I the got, boat moves from I side got to side. My sentence. All right. I got my sentence. When Rose and the other guy, whose name I don't know. Leo. Said, That's his real name. I don't, well, none of us know him other than Leo. Okay, right. so when when Kate Winslet and, and Leo DiCaprio were on the boat, and the boat hit the iceberg, it probably had a yaw, because it went side to side before they all sank. Yeah. I mean, that was like a paragraph. That wasn't like really <laughs> that was a, in the sense you told us a whole story behind it. That was a long it, but sentence. That's fine. No, I'm with that. I'm okay. with that. What's your letter? My letter will be 
G. Okay. Because it's all good, G. Okay. Okay, your word is gingerly. <laughs> gingerly? Yes. Like carefully or uh, yes. basically like it hurts, so you, 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 you know, you're walking gingerly. My, I twisted my ankle yesterday, so now I'm walking gingerly. Yes, that is correct, gingerly. Very cautious or careful. That's such a short definition. Well, I mean, there ain't much <laughs> else to it, I guess. So thank y'all again for listening in to The Linguistic Show. We hope, again, that maybe the episode may open up some things for you or someone else and was, was a source of encouragement and motivation. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, and share to The Linguistic Show. This has been an Ashangali Enterprises production. Co-produced by Naomi. Music by Brassville.